Okay guys, you know how the BBK and other aftermarket larger throttle bodies whistle while you're just tipping into the throttle and accelerating? It's hard to believe that one little item that just goes right over in here can fix that problem. It's virtually a zero dollar fix. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we're we're out for a cruise in the 95. We're going to show how that, that uh, we got the BBK throttle body. It's a 70 mil BBK. It's got that whistle to it. It's like if you're cruising along and you kind of tip into the throttle, you'll get this. The whistle's got woo! Annoying shriek or whistle. So uh, we're going to take the throttle body off. We're going to try and figure out what's causing it. If it's just in the blade or if it's going through the throttle bypass area, if that's what's causing the whistle. But we'll just do a little video of it uh, making its noise. Yeah, it'll just, just for a split second, it does it. There it's doing it. So when I go to hit my accelerate on my cruise control, I can get it to whistle better. So that's interesting because I thought it was at a certain throttle position, but when you're hitting the accelerate, it just ever so slightly opening the throttle up. So that gives that's some food for thought on why it's doing it. Okay guys, I'm in the shop. I got the uh, 75 mil BBK throttle body off. I'm just gonna compare it to the original Motorsport 65 that the car had. So we can see that the throttle plate is only on one side. It's screwed to one side of the uh, throttle shaft. This, this one here has it on both sides. Um, there is obviously sharp edges in here for the throttle bypass solenoid and same here. Other than that, the Ford one has the indentation here. And it's also got, I guess not really in any indentation in here. So, you know, there's, there's nothing that's really a crazy amount different. If I haven't mentioned it already, the 65mm uh, Motorsport throttle body does not have that little tiny hole in the uh, throttle plate, in the blade. And because some people say that might stop it from uh, squealing as well. The BBK actually has a, a fairly smooth transition in here. You know, it's not real crazy, but there is sharp edges once again. And the Ford one is kind of a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more intricate, but uh, we're gonna clean this up, see what happens. Okay, here's what I did. I, uh, I kind of put a radius on that. Hard to tell with just showing you. I kind of cleaned this up a bit and radiused a bit more. And of course, the front edge, I really radiused where it goes in. A little bit on that tube to the right. See if it makes any kind of a difference. So I'm honestly not expecting much, but um, we take the car out for a quick spin, see what it see what it does, see if it did anything at all. And uh, if it didn't do anything, then we're going to throw on that 75 mil, because this is a 70. We'll throw in that 75 mil El Cheapo throttle body. I really want to see if this is going to whistle. It probably will. It's not much different than the uh, BBK, but only time will tell. Yeah, I just went for a little rip down the highway here, and uh, yeah, it's still 
totally doing it. I want to just try the other uh, the other throttle body, see if it's going to do anything, and uh, fingers crossed it'll make some kind of a difference. Well, the uh, taking the edges off everything on the BBK didn't didn't help anything. I'm gonna throw this guy on. We'll see uh, see if it still whistles. 75 mil. Okay guys, back in the shop. Man, this 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 whistling sound. I'm kind of getting close to the end of my rope on this one, but I was thinking about something. Maybe it's not the throttle body. And the EGR, I've got no EGR on here. I deleted it. But there might be, there'll be the hole from the EGR directly behind the throttle blade. And when you open up the throttle, the air, because it might be at a higher velocity, I don't know, but the air passing over that, if you have a smaller diameter throttle body over here, it might be directing air past the hole, like more inboard of the throat of the intake. So with a, the even with a 70 on here, maybe it's big enough that it pushes more air closer to that hole, giving that whistling effect. Because really, there's not much difference between all three throttle bodies I had, the, the 65 Ford Motorsport, the 70 BBK, and then the 75 No Name that's on the car. So we'll whip that off. Let's take a look, see if there's a sharp edge going up to where the EGR is supposed to be. Okay, guys, I had an idea. So there's, there's a squeal. Now open it up all the way. Now I'll put the flash on. Okay, there's our EGR port. I think we found her, guys. So I think when the intake comes off, we're going to do that EGR port. I think that's got a lot to do with the squealing sound and I think that's overlooked big time. Okay guys, here's my uh, theory on why those, uh, those throttle bodies are whistling. And not the 65, but the 70 and the 75, why they're whistling. So check this out. So here's our 65 millimeter throttle body opening. When you tip into the throttle, the air comes in, and because the 65 mil throttle body is narrower than the throat of the intake manifold, so this is like a, a cutaway top view of the intake, the air isn't in an ideal position to whistle past this, e, this EGR port passage. So, and if I, if I chamfered the uh, edges of the uh, throttle air bypass solenoid which would sit here you know and it, it comes around it's not going to whistle as easy with it radiused or chamfered so the air because of the narrower neck it's not in an ideal position to to rush past the EGR port so here's the throttle body Here's the EGR port. It's, it's not being looked at. So if we technically made, if we made the throttle body go to wider one to fill in this area more and exaggerated if this was wider too, the, the air will come along here 
and it'll rush past that hole causing a whistling sound. As you can see when I shot the compressed air in there, and if I had it close to the edge, that would whistle. Okay guys, here's where I'm at. Got the intake off. Um, I was originally going to radius that port. Check it out. I was going to radius this, but for being a little bit of a, sort of a bit of a purist, I got a aluminum bushing that fit perfectly into that hole. I'm going to get that end welded shut. I'll grind it flat and I'll get this welded on around here really good. And that way we're not going to butcher this nice little saline intake, the saline modified Cobra. I'd, I'd rather do that than radius that, that hole. Okay guys, got the uh, part back from the fabricator, got that welding done, check this out. There's our, and I'm going to grind this down just to take that uh, top off of it. But there we go. No saline intakes were hurt during this procedure. So there we go. We got this. Just like that. You can see the, you can kind of see the round contour that I tried to follow to match the intake opening. So yeah. This just goes in here, simple as can be. And yeah, that should stop our whistling. Okay guys, we just got back from the cruise. I can honestly say this car does not whistle anymore. I went down the highway, I set the cruise at 100K or 60 miles an hour, and I, I, I accelerated with the cruise control like I did in a, the previous clips. There was no whistling. Even in fifth gear at, at the speed limit, when I tipped into it before, it would whistle. I could make it whistle. I could not get any whistling. So the BBK throttle body whistle, it might not be the throttle body. It could be your, well, in this case, it was totally the EGR port and the, uh, the uh, throttle bypass solenoid ports could have contributed to it. That's why I radius them. So anyways, there you have it. I have a hundred percent, a hundred percent success rate for the cure. No more whistle when you tip into the throttle under harder acceleration. There was none. It wasn't the throttle body so much as the intake. So, uh, I'm just curious if somebody did a EGR delete on your, uh, your, uh, EGR spacer and if you filled it in with epoxy or whatever or got a solid one Because you know my my 86 it doesn't whistle. I've got a 75 mil BBK on it It doesn't whistle, but I've also got the intake elbow onto a carbureted intake and I also have a solid spacer that's not has no EGR port in it that crazy EGR port is the vast majority of the problem. I hope this helps somebody out, gets rid of that nasty, annoying whistle. Well, you want to woo -woo. And uh, that, uh, that made me feel pretty good because I'm trying to refine little things on this car. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope everybody's having a great summer and we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.